Alrighty, welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and today I'm going to show you how to install and even create custom portraits for your characters. So, the easiest way to do this is to go into, or first, obviously, launch the game, select new game. I know we're not actually making a new campaign, but keep going with me here. Don't worry about the difficulty. Create new character. Next. And then there's this little sneaky breaky icon right here. You see that? We're going to click on this. This is the character portraits icon. Now it brings up this. You see immediately we have a preview, small, medium, and El Grande. And it has the measurements here, 692 by 1024 pixels, and that's in a PNG format. So that's giving you the template for these. Similar, 330 by 432 and 185 by 242 over here so you're going to need a trio of images to use as your character portrait so select open portraits folder and that will on your computer open up the folder that custom portraits are stored in and you see we're in all of this local low alcat games pathfinder kingmaker portraits and then it's created this um, folder for us. Now if we go back to portraits, you can see all of the custom portraits that I have in the game, quite a number of them. Uh, so let's go into this folder that they've created for us. And I'm go I automatically have uh, GIMP, GIMP, uh, open up files of this type. So we're going to open this in GIMP, and it's going to take a while to launch. And while this launches, I can tell you about uh, some sites that can be useful. Oh my goodness, so many things. Uh, maybe that's another time. I'm going to link in the description right here is a link for Nexus Mods, uh, where there's a huge pack of custom portraits, and that's what I'm using uh, in my game right now. But today, we're going to make something a little bit special. So, to wrap all of this up, Portraits, portraits, portraits. Okay, all you need to do is replace these three files uh, with files of the same dimensions in a PNG format. Uh, or you can just go back to the portraits folder here and drag and drop a folder that contains three files. Uh, and it just has to have some number associated with the folder. You see how each one of these has a name and then they have the images in there. Uh, we go to portraits this one has a name we see the images in there uh, it's really that simple and then we get into things like this and this is another template so we can delete that um, and I could clean this up a little bit but but that would be a waste of you guys's time so uh, to sum it all up quickly again <coughs> you go new game create new character click on this portrait button uh, it creates a template for you select open portraits folder alt tab into the portraits folder and uh, you'll be inside one of these you can go down a folder to go into portraits and you can drag and drop custom portrait folders from whatever source into here you could also as you see I've downloaded the heroes of the stolen lands zip file uh, you could just extract that directly into the portraits folder to have access to custom portraits. And you can see that once we're here, we can select different custom portraits just using these arrows. So let's go back to our template, and I'll show you how to create your own custom portraits. So, this is the first time I've tried this, but I think it's going to work. So here we are in the full length portrait in GIMP. And this is my um, graphic editing software. So I'm gonna, I have the base layer as the, the standard. And I'm gonna create a new layer. And I'm gonna drag and drop some files into here. So first off, we need a background. And I think in my downloads folder, I have a background. So let's go ahead and drop this one. It's kind of cute. Um, and you can see that it's not quite proportioned oh, the way we want it to be. So we'll have to resize this file. So, 
or this image I should say. We go to resize, uh, we lock in the proportions, and we'll set that to 2000. That should give us enough room to work with. Yeah, that looks great. So here's a background, very standard background, and we can drag it around to get what we want out of it. Maybe something along these lines. I like the motion in this one because, uh, well, we're going to have some motion. And I'll make another layer. Actually, I'll merge that down. So this is now our background. And I'm not really explaining how I'm doing each specific step of editing uh, because if you want to learn that, it's going to take a lot more explanation. And uh, I recommend you watch a video on how to use the photo editor of your choice. I highly recommend GIMP. It's free. It's open source. And there's lots of help available in the form of YouTube videos to learn how to use that. Okay, now we need our subject. And I have a wonderful subject in mind. Let's go to Tank Baby. So this is my actual baby. This is Guppy. Guppy's not her real name. Uh, but here we go. We've got Sand Warrior Guppy. And that, as you can see, is a lot larger image uh, than what would work with what we have here. So let's move this down to about, uh, let's try 900. And then we'll scale that. And we need to zoom way out to where we can actually see where it is now. And there it is. There she is. Look at that cutie. All right, that's such a cute kid. I, I'm kind of biased, but uh, but uh, that's just the way things are going to be. So let's go with 80 pixels on our erase tool. And just kind of just kind of roughly, I don't know if I like that or not. We'll, we'll see. We always have options. Okay, so then we'll move this over. Yeah, I think, I think that'll do well enough. You know, I think what I'll do is actually make her even larger. So we'll take this and we'll make it, uh, let's be bold here and make it 1200. And we'll keep her feet out of the bottom of the image. Yeah, there. That, that works. It's not perfect. It's not the best photo editing, but we'll just go file, export as, and there's our image, full length PNG. We're going to go ahead and export, replace, and I'm not too afraid of, uh, of doing that. And then compression is fine. Just uh, go with whatever it has there. Uh, that should be fine. And then we'll open up our next one. So we have our full length image. In fact, let's go ahead and merge this all down. And copy this layer. And then we'll open up our next image. If we go to portraits. Oh, nard burgers. Did I, did I make a mistake here? I gotta find the folder I was in because I jumped back one. Okay, I think it's this one. Yes, it is. So there's the full length. We now need to edit the medium image. So we'll keep our old image open just in case we need to reference it. And we'll make a new layer. As always, I love to do new layers whenever I'm doing any editing. And we'll copy in this one and then we will scale it down to oh gee hold on let's do it this way so I wonder if we can select visible uh, no okay let's just do this way this should be Pretty close. Again, we're, we're just getting close enough for jazz here. As long as it looks decent, uh, I just want this to be fun and not perfect. So this one is going to be a little bit more of a close-up of our subject here. So we'll set this to 400 pixels. 
Yeah. Move around over. Even even a bit closer, I think. We'll we'll scale this up just a little bit. Make it 450. 500. Okay. <laughs> Such a cutie. Okay, <laughs> look at that determined look on her face. I love that girl. So, now we will overwrite and looky there, we have our second one. Now you know the deal, we're gonna open up our little micro thumbnail here. And this one, it tells you that you just basically want somebody's face in there, just in case you needed a guide. And we will make a new layer. Paste our old image in there. Move her around. Get some scale down here. Uh, let's drop her down to 500 and move her on over this is going to be our party thumbnail so i think that what a cutie <laughs> what a cute little baby girl okay she's one and a half years old now this is a picture from when she was like one year and like two months so you have no reason to need to know that but now you know all right that is just fantastic now if we go into our game, we hit refresh portrait, and what do you know? Look at that! We got we got Sand Warrior Guppy in there now. Oh my gosh! Okay, so that's how we would create a, a new character uh, with a custom portrait, and you can also use these same portraits the same way when you're creating a mercenary via Anorial Eight Eyes, uh, who will show up in Oleg's trading post after you liberate the post and also in your capital city once you get to that point in the game in the tavern. Uh, you can hire mercenaries as described in other videos uh, and I won't get too much into that. But this was a quick look at how to use a custom portrait in Pathfinder Kingmaker. Uh, the lovely folks at Alcat Games have given us these great tools to be able to do that and uh, then I used GIMP as my photo editing software to create the edited PNG files from there. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Dada.